Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about calculation of total effective length for that design. All right, so let's get into it. So we're going to start with the acronym. So for that, we're going to choose green. So let's put in here TEL. So T-E-L. T-E-L. All right. So what is TEL? TEL is actually the total, see the total effective total effective length length okay so the total effective length is also based on the <clears throat> excuse me critical path see critical path so now you might be wondering, what is the critical path? The critical path is actually the longest path based from the return to the farthest supply. So in other words, in here, we're going to have this. Uh, let's put this in pink. There we go, pink. So this is the farthest return right here. And then this is the farthest supply right here. See? So this is the supply. Let's put this in here. Supply, supply outlet, supply register, and this is the farthest return. All right. See, farthest supply, farthest return. What is that complete length? That's going to be the tail. That's actually the critical path. Let's put the critical path like this. See, it comes from the return, goes through the equipment, the equipment goes to the supply trunk from the supply trunk comes to to the branch see there we go there we go there we go there we go see let's put it like this like that and like this see there we go you have the critical part which is the longest part and now what we're going to do is let's put on the formula so the formula is going to be the following so the tail is going to be equal to and also this is going to be this is my notation so it's not like aka notation this is just to simplify and also to explain how this works okay so there's there's going to be two parts the supply side and the return side so i'm going to put this supply length plus the return length easy like that like easy hvac is my channel right so the tail is going to be equal to the supply length plus the return length. However, for some reason, ACA likes calling this differently. So what we're going to do this in white. So ACA is going to call this supply length as tail of supply or right soft, right? Tail of supply or the return length is going to be called uh, tail of return. Okay. This doesn't have to do anything with equivalent length is effective length. Okay. The total effective length. So we're going to have the supply and return, but my notation is being supplied length and return length. Okay. So now let's continue with this. So what we're going to do is the calculation of the supply length. What is the supply length? Uh, well, let's put it in here. See supply length. Let's do this supply, supply side, supplies length. Okay. What is the supply length? So the supply length in this case is going to be the following. Okay. So the supply length is going to be divided into three parts. Okay. So in this case, let's focus only on the supply side. Okay. So what you have on the right side is actually a calculation we have been doing in the, in my, in the series of videos I've been producing. So the supply side is going to start right here. Let's put it, let's put this as green. There we go. So it's going to start right here. It's going to start right here and it's going to finish right here. All right. Okay. So how many lengths do we have? We're going to have one lens. See 8.8 .8 plus 2 point, no, 23.5. So that's going to be the supply length. However, we call this duct that is connected to the equipment. We call it trunk. So we're going to have one length. Let's put that as length one. See, so let's put this as length one, supply length one. All right. So that's going to be the supply length. See, supply length, supply length. All right. For the trunk. 
Okay, that's for the trunk. Okay, so what's the trunk? The trunk is the duct connected to the equipment. Okay, so we're gonna have a supply length number two, which is gonna be the supply length. See? Supply length. Okay, of the run out or the branch. Run out or branch. And then finally, we're gonna have a supply length number three. See, that's gonna be the same thing, supply length. Okay, supply length of what? Fittings. Okay, that's going to be for the fittings. Okay, so let's do that calculation. So what we're going to have in here is supply length one is going to be equal to what? It says supply length of the trunk and the trunk is going to be from the equipment to the box. See, how? what is that length? 8.8 .8 feet. So that's going to be 8.8 .8 feet. There we go. Okay. And the other one is going to be supply length number two. What is the supply length number two? Supply length of the run out from the box or the distribution box or junk junction box till the supply. We're going to have a total of 23.5. Okay. So that's going to be 23.5 feet. There we go. And then we're, last one, we're going to have the supply length number three, which is the most critical. So when we're talking about the most critical is the fittings. The fittings is when you obtain more pressure loss and in terms of equivalent length is the biggest length most of the times. OK, so in this case, what we have is the following. So as you can see in the supply side, there is this uh, fitting. So let's put that as in blue. Let's put that as in pink again. There we go. So for this fitting, how many fittings do you have on the supply side? You have fitting number one. You have fitting number two. You have fitting number three. There we go. All right. So fitting number one, in order to obtain the equivalent length, which is going to be in tables of ACA manual D, easily accessible. What you have is, in this case, for the supply side, is a fitting ID of 1A. OK, for this box, which is a distribution box, you have a fitting ID of 11A. And then for this part on the supply side, you're going to have a, a fitting ID of 4AD. OK, 4AD. OK, so what is the equivalent length and how does it look? So for 1A, you have this part of the supply side. As you can see in here, this is the 1A. This is how it looks from the equipment. See, this is the fitting 1A. And then 1A going to the tables of ACA manual D, they have an equivalent length of 35. So this is 35 feet. That's from tables from ACA manual D, manual, uh, manual D, or also from rights of, from, even from the rights of program, you're able to obtain this equivalent length. Number two, this fitting, which is 11A, that 11A is going to have an uh, equivalent, equivalent length of 20 feet. And then for the 4AD, based on tables, you have the biggest one, 60 feet. Imagine that pressure drop. But it's understandable because... See, as you can see for 4AD, this is pretty much a 90 degree transition in here. So that's where you lose a lot of uh, pressure loss. OK, so you're going to be you're going to have 35 plus 20 plus uh, 60. So since this is equivalent length, we're going to put that as in pink. We're going to keep it in here. So that's going to be 35, see 35 feet plus the other one is 20. So that's going to be 20 plus the other one is 60. All right. So what we have in here is the following 60. There we go. So how much is that? We're going to change this to green. Let's see in here. Uh, that's going to be SL3. So that's going to be equal to the following. <clears throat> so that's going to be 95. Let's see. That's actually going to be 115. OK, 115 feet. Perfect. So in other words, whenever we're doing this, the supply side, the supply side, the tail of the supply is going to be equal to 8.8 .8 plus 
plus 23.5 plus the equivalent length of the fittings okay which is going to give me a total of let's check if we do this and then plus 8.8 .8 plus 23.5 that's going to be give that's going to give me 100 147.3 so we're just going to round this up supply length or the total effective length of the length of the supply side is going to be equal to 148 feet there we go okay there we go okay so we're going to do the same thing for the return side so for this return we're going to have this this is the return length return length okay return length and then for the return length as we mentioned uh, ARCA calls it as tail total effective length of the return side okay so we're gonna put that in there so what do we have on the return side on the return side we're gonna have how many lengths we only have one see as you can see in here we're gonna have one so let's do this with another color let's do this with yellow possibly no let with orange okay we're gonna do with orange so you have this length right here see right here this length that's length number one you have one fitting and you have two fittings right you go two fittings this fitting that you see here that is going to be a fitting id of 5d 5d and the other one is going to be a fitting id of 6m for the return okay so the 5d uh you have it in here see 5d okay there we go let's see 5d and the other one 6m right here 6m okay so what are the equivalent lengths and again that equivalent length is going to be based on tables from aka manual d it's going to be for 6m 20 feet and for 5d it will be 40 feet there we go so in other words what we're going to have in this calculation is going to be the following so for the return side we're going to have return length number one which is pretty much from the run out or, or the trunk see return one that's going to be for the trunk see return two that's going to be for the run out run out okay or branches return length number three that's going to be for the fittings and as you as everyone remembers where we lose most of the equivalent length are on the fittings okay so in this case we're going to have the following return length number two is going to be equal to the following it's going to be equal to what is the length the length is 6.8 there you go 6.8 feet okay but the for the fittings we're gonna have return length number three number three we have the 6m 6m which is the fitting id is gonna be 20 feet plus oh what we're gonna do in here is actually we're gonna we're gonna maintain the color so that way it's more noticeable so this is 20 feet for the fittings plus for 5d which is the other fitting is gonna be 40 feet that's going to give me a total of 60 feet of fittings uh, equivalent length so the length would be um the following so we're going to put this uh, go back to green so there you go return length it's going to be equal to um so 6.8 let's put that 6.8 plus uh, 60 so if we do the math that's going to be equal to 66.8 feet there we go so we can round this up to return length of 67 feet all right so we have the return length for for that part that portion of the critical path so now that we have the two lengths we're going to put in here finally so finally what we were mentioning was the tail which is the total effective length it's going to be equal to tail of the supply side plus tail total effective length of the return side okay or like we were saying that 
we can always put that as my convention, which is the supply length plus the return length. Okay, so what was this? So the supply side was, uh, the length was 148. 148 feet plus the return side is was 67 feet. So if we add them up, that's going to give me a tail of 215 feet. Okay. Perfect. So now if we want to, if we want to put this in a graphical way, so this is the air handling unit and this is the critical path, right? So this is the return. Okay. This is the return. And then this is my critical path still. We have in here the box. And this is the supply side. There we go. Now the connections are going to be the following. So let's put the connections in pink. Okay. So we have the fittings. So whenever we do fittings, we are always talking about the fitting IDs. So this fitting ID was 5D. The other supply side was 1A. Fitting ID in this case was 11A. Okay. And the fitting ID in here was 4AD. So all of this is the supply side, the supply side. And all of this is the return, the return side. Okay. And we had a fitting ID on this side of 6M. And as you may have noticed, the fittings are the ones that uh, take a lot of length actually into account. So now we're going to put this in white so that way everyone can see. Okay. So this equivalent length is 67 feet. And then the supply side equivalent length is 148 feet to have a total hopefully this goes straight oh it's a little bit straight there we go there we go so that's a total equivalent length of 215 and remember that this is the critical path based on the critical path all right there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and always like and subscribe and share. All right. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you're enjoying the HVAC is my channel with Roberto. Thank you so much.